From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. You take care of getting the lands. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. She... She has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Meanwhile, let us remain on our guard against any last-minute surprises. I know my brother well. He never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning. Finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Don't make me your competition, Duriche. You are no match. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. Dear friends, I'd like to thank you for your continued trust and confidence. I admit that during these past few days, there has been much upheaval. I understand you've all been affected by this. Nevertheless, the world doesn't stop turning, and we are in fact on the verge of reshaping the modern world. That is what we are all here for, my lord. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Monsieur Bonaparte. Now you all know what we have to do. I cannot warn you strongly enough. If one of Sir Gregory's guests asks to speak with you, remain on your guard. It is highly likely that he will try to rally as many supporters to his cause as he can. Don't worry, William. We are all here to support your project through to its conclusion. Thank you, George. Now, please, go and get some rest before the conference begins, which won't be long now. Louis, stay with me a moment, won't you? I'll be needing your services in a certain matter. Yes, of course. What's the matter? Louis, you are the only one here who I totally trust. It is very likely that Gregory will take possession of some of the members of our team. I shall keep them in check over the next few hours. However, I'll need you to... How can I say this? To persuade the members of Gregory's group. What do you mean by that exactly? You'll have free reign, my son. Persuade all of them. Use every possible means imaginable. But no physical violence. Let's be very, very clear about that. You must bring them all over to our side. One after the other. And what if I fail? I have faith in you, my son. Great faith. That notwithstanding, should any of them resist, we'll decide what to do afterwards. Now go. And come back and see me once you've finished. I'll be off then. Sir Johann von Wulner. Why is his study in such a mess? Looks like Wulner's planning something.
Monseigneur, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Your Eminence, would you have a moment? I shouldn't really, Louis, as you can imagine. Rest assured, I come just as a friend. All right then, Louis. But be quick. Thank you, Your Eminence. Ah. Uh, it's got nothing to do with it, but... You... You didn't come and see me in my room a few hours ago, did you? Hmm. Does he remember anything? Uh, oh no. No, I I'm sorry. Y you must be mistaken. I've been speaking to Lord Mortimer in his study. I... I must have dreamed it then. It seems so real. Don't blame yourself, Your Eminence. We're all exhausted, I can assure you of that. That's very kind of you, Louis. I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, but I feel rather fragile. <sighs> Poor man seems terrified. It'd be a good idea if I reassured him a little before trying to get him to change sides. Oh, what did you want from me exactly? Tell me, Your Eminence. Do you know anything about symbols and dreams? Come, Louis. The scripture law rejects all divination through dreams. You ought to know that. Of course. I, I wasn't suggesting that these visions were messages from God, Your Eminence. But it might be that when we rest, our mind imagines situations based on things that left an impression on it. Take your dream, for example. What did it speak of? I'm not sure that I can speak about it. Don't worry, Your Eminence. There's no one else here but me. Well... I was right here, in my room, and you came to see me. Then it all became confusing. I know that Mr. Von Volner was here too. He... No, no, it's not possible. What was he doing? He tried to harm you. Damn it. He does have memories of what happened. Your Eminence, you have no reason to worry, because I'm right here in front of you, in perfect health. Yes. Yes, you are right. You're probably just a little tired. Overworked, that's all. That's it. Just a bit tired. Anyway, thank you for listening. Please excuse me, Louis, if I've wasted your time. You came to see me about the conference, I imagine. And here I go rambling on about uh, I don't know what nonsense. No need to apologize, Your Eminence. Think nothing of it. <sighs> what did you want to speak to me about? Right. It's now or never to get him to change his mind. I must admit that opposing you pains me, and it pains Lord Mortimer a great deal as well. I can well imagine. You should know that I am not happy about it either. He's an upright man who, like yourself, spends his time helping others and doing good around him. But you know that better than I do. I owe him a lot, you know. Your Eminence, if you feel you owe him something, let me tell you it's not too late to show it. It's thanks to him that I took the Holy Orders. We met when I was very young, here, on this island. After our encounter, I had the firm conviction that my duty was to take the Holy Orders. Uh, to tell you the truth, I owe him everything. Have you ever thanked him for it? Never. You must find me ungrateful. I would never dare, Your Eminence. <sighs> you came to persuade me to join him, didn't you? I don't have that power, but... I do sincerely believe that Lord Mortimer serves a righteous cause. You are an angel who brings peace to the soul, my son. Listen to your heart, Your Eminence. You are right. To hell with all this political manipulation. I... Yes, I must listen to my conscience. Yes, listen to that little voice in your head. What does it say? Yes, Louis. I will vote for William's project. I will follow you. I'm sure it will mean a great deal to Lord Mortimer, Your Eminence. Once again, thank you, my son. Please leave me now. I must pray. Of course, Your Eminence. I'll be on my way now. Duke Manuel Godoy. Duke Manuel. Dorichet. 
I'm delighted to see you're standing by Lord Mortimer. One cannot say that the situation is altogether reassuring, but I must admit, he does know what he's doing. Something tells me I've made the right choice. So, to thank you for persuading me to join you, what would you say to a nice piece of amber? I am given to understand that you collect it? Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it to it, sir. It is the least I can do. Good. See you at the vault. I'll see you later, then. Right. Godoy is on board. Emily, it's me. Come in, Louis. I just saw that. What's that servant doing in your room? A gift from father. <laughs> You're joking, right? Unfortunately not. He's worried about my health. Ah, oh, typical. Of course, I understand this is in no way an overreaction on his part. Anyway, I've come to see if you're better. That's very nice of you. Thank you. I'd appreciate it if we kept our last discussion to ourselves, Louis. I'm not very proud of the state I was in. But don't worry. Thank you. And did you manage to speak to Mortimer? One moment. I'd rather continue our discussion away from any curious eyes. Follow me next door, please. You wanted to know if we spoke. Well, let's just say he didn't stick around long, but yes, I can definitely say we spoke. But, if I remember rightly, you said this isn't the first time you've been entertained here. You knew each other before, didn't you? Yes, that's true. He told me he didn't know the exact nature of our relationship until a short time ago. And if it will reassure you, I'm generally pretty good at reading people, and I can tell when they're lying. With him, it's impossible to know what's real and what's not. And, well, how are you? Did you take it all right? To be honest, I don't know. I feel like I've lost all my bearings. And what about me then? Do you trust him? Uh, I don't know. It, it's hard to say. He's our father. He has started to initiate me and he's been pretty fair so far. Now that said, you can't say he's gone about gaining my trust in the best possible way. What about you? What do you think of him? Honestly, I no longer know who to believe. The only one I really trust is you. So, I shall follow you this time. So, I can count on you for the conference vote then, right? You can. I shall support Mortimer's project. Perfect. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. See you later for the vote. Yes, see you later.
need to talk to Von Volner. Blast it. Home is with him. Gentlemen. Louis! I'm sorry, but we are waiting for Duke Manuel. If you wouldn't mind leaving us, I should think you already have enough to do as it is. Very well. I didn't mean to disturb you. They're waiting for Duke Manuel. No doubt to make him change sides. <sighs> All right. If they want him, then they'll get him. Yes, monsieur. Is there something you wanted to add? Concentrate. I need you to listen carefully to what I have to say, Godoy. I am all ears. Louis, push. I need you to do me a little favor. It's working. That's it, Louis. Get in his head. Oh, dear. What is happening to me? I, I do not feel very well. I need your help, sir. Get in his head. Oh, perfect. Thank you, monsieur. I'm sure I'll know how to take full advantage of your vessel. Now that I am Manuel. Duke Manuel, here you are at last. Sir Gregory, Mr. Von Volner. Thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I shan't beat about the bush, my friend. I was very disappointed by your behavior. I had thought you more loyal. Consequently, my affection for you leads me to ask you to reconsider one last time. I've already reconsidered it, Sir Gregory. I shall be loyal to you when it comes to the vote. Have no doubt about it. Excellent news indeed, my friend. Did you hear, Johan? Yes, and it comes at a most timely moment. I anticipate an overwhelming victory. It goes without saying to keep it to yourself. I would like to give William a nice surprise. Whatever you say. I'll leave you with Johan a while. I still have a few things to settle. I shan't be long. See you later, Sir Gregory. Oh, Godoy. Come over here. I'm warming myself up. I had the misfortune to step outside and I'm frozen solid. I wonder what he was doing outside. Something to do with what Holm asked him for, maybe. He's back from the landing stage. Damn. He must have gone to deposit Al Azif for someone to pick up. Mr. Von Volner, I wanted to speak to you. I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm all ears. Now, we don't have much time, so here it is. You will vote for Mortimer. What a strange idea, Godoy. You are being ridiculous. Tell me now, why would I do that? Sir Gregory has been taking us for a ride right from the start. When it comes to this operation, he isn't championing the interests of our respective nations. All he cares about is beating Lord Mortimer at his own game. Oh, come, Manuel. Where are you getting this from? Name me even one decision by Sir Gregory that was in favor of Prussia. My God, man. I didn't know you were so excessive. You don't want to answer? I will. Just... Uh... Let me think. You're pinned down. You will only get mere crumbs out of Poland. It will go to Russia. And I hope you're ready for a global war because I doubt France will agree to our coalition. True. Said like that. I don't know. I'm not criticizing. I'm in the same boat as you. Spade will docilely follow home without getting anything in return. You are wasting your time, Duke Manuel. You know nothing about me, and your attempts to manipulate me have no effect. You behave as though we were close. Yet ever since you arrived, you've only been interested in your own little self. Don't say that, Johan. We may not be friends, but we are allies. Is that so? And what do you know about me, exactly? If he knew I was Gregory's son, he wouldn't try it on like this. About you? Next to nothing. Except that you happen to be Sir Gregory Holmes' son, right? What? What do you mean? But, uh... Ah, 
now I'm starting to be of interest to you, no? Uh, I've never spoken to anyone about that. <laughs> Quite surprising, isn't it? You see, I'm full of surprises. In short, whether he's your father or not makes no real difference to me. Uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> Come on, Johan. Don't make me laugh. He has never thought of you as his son. I'd wager that you'd always hoped he would one day even though he treated you like a master treats a useful slave. He is, at best, a mentor. Stop me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but, uh, tell me, why do you want to follow Mortimer all of a sudden? Mortimer is planning something. We don't know everything. He must have something up his sleeve to be so confident. Ah, really? How the... Never did he find out that I'm Holmes' son. He intends to get rid of all those unwilling to give their support to him. You can't be serious. Look, you've seen as well as I have who's here, haven't you? This is insane! Johan, one thing is certain. Mortimer never gives in. I think he is perfectly capable of making a clean sweep and starting over again if he thinks he has no other options. <laughs> After all, who would complain? People everywhere crying out against oppression? But these conferences take place according to rules. Have you forgotten? We are talking about Lord William Mortimer here. Do you really believe he would stop at breaking a few rules? No, no. Probably not. Look. I hear everything you're saying, but there is no chance that Mortimer can make us all change sides. That is why Sir Gregory can but win. You understand? Think again. It's already too late. Now, you're the last one left. Your loyalty toward Gregory is honorable, but no longer makes any sense. If you don't change your mind, you'll be venturing into dangerous waters for no valid reason. Unless it's to win. Yes, but at what price? Think of all those who... who will be hostile toward you afterwards. Just think about it rationally, I mean it. Prussia has nothing directly at stake, so why put your position or your life in the balance? I... I hear you. Honestly, betraying Gregory is... well, it's... It's unthinkable, unless I simply don't have any choice. Yes, he's finally cracked. Thank you for warning me. You're welcome. There is nothing more natural between allies. I did what I could. Now, it's up to you. As for me, I'll vote for Mortimer. Good luck to you. Good luck. Good. I mustn't lose too much time. See you later, my Lord Duke. Have a nice rest. Admit, you did give us a run for our money. Huh? A, a page has been torn out.
Louis, there you are. Well, tell me, how did it go? I did my best. Whom did you manage to persuade? Well, there's no point in wasting any time. I'm proud to report they've all come over to our side. Ha <laughs> ha, Louis, I'm impressed. I was sure you'd succeed. I'm proud of you, my son. Even Johan? How did you manage to do it? I possessed Godoy. You possessed Godoy, of course. Very ingenious of you, I must say. Son, you've accomplished a veritable tour de force. I couldn't have done better myself. Now, we are ready. The conference may begin. Assemble everyone in the conference room. Meet me there and let's get it over with. My friends, here we are at last, gathered together to close this conference. I would first of all like to thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us when I say that we are honored by your presence here. You, you are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions. And I especially want to thank you, William, for, for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. I'm not sure all the guests would agree to that. In any case, Holm doesn't seem to be himself. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France. Monsieur de Richet? I vote for. Duchess Hillsborough? For. Duke Manuel? For. Your Eminence? For. But I... Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon? For. Mr. Von Volner. For... What? Gregory, but... please refrain from interrupting the voting. You know the rules, brother. President Washington? For... The votes are now cast. The project is therefore... approved. Dirty traitor! Mr. Godoy, soon you will be in charge of passing the territory of Louisiana over to France. It will be done. What have you done? Me? Nothing, dear brother. What have you done to me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future, oh, that is, if you have one, don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. You... You are mad, William! Father will... Father will punish you for, for this! He will probably try, unless I get to him first. But I cannot die! No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason as well as all your special abilities. What? What? What did I drink? Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of Father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone, enclosed in that rather withered body. Help! Help me! After several Help! centuries of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me, what does that feel like? Never happened to me can't be good. You cannot leave your body. You cannot project yourself elsewhere. You cannot even contact father. Go ahead. 
try. But you are my brother, so I ask you to remember that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no pleasure out of it. Well, very little. You swine! A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses. Now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> I am stronger than, than you! Here we all are. We are about to definitively shelve Lord Mortimer's absurd project regarding Louisiana. It will only take one of you to oppose it, and we have won. The vote is to be held shortly, so we must keep our guard up. I'm sure Mortimer's preparing something. Don't worry, Sir Gregory. Nothing can stop us now. Beware, Johan. We mustn't underestimate him. So, I'll ask you to return to your rooms and stay there until the conference. And if one of Mortimer's team comes knocking at your door, no matter what, do not open it under any circumstance. Don't give them the opportunity to manipulate you. Is that clear? Understood. Good. Right. Let us adjourn. Uh, Louis, uh, stay on a moment, if you would. I need to speak to you. Yes. What can I do for you? I've known my brother for a long time. I'm sure he has a plan. I'd like you to go and see each member of our group, and make sure they remain loyal. Do you think my father's going to try to turn some of them to his side? Turn them, or get rid of them, I don't know. One thing's for sure. I doubt William will give up without a fight. He'll try something. I'll keep him busy while you check on all of our group. Can I trust you? Of course. If there is a traitor in our group, find out who it is, Louis. Find them. Then come back and let me know. I'll deal with them personally. I want a landslide victory. I want to teach William a lesson and bring that ridiculous Godoy back over. Now that you've persuaded him to switch to Mortimer's side, it would be preferable to bring him back quickly. We'll still need him, and I don't want him going down with Mortimer. Very well. It will be done. Wait a minute. Isn't the Duchess supposed to be here? No, no. She's uh, resting in her, uh, in her room. I confess I'm a little worried about her mental health. She's going through a very difficult time at the moment, and I wouldn't want my brother to exploit her fragility. I'll go now. Thank you, Louis. See you in a while.
Monsieur Bonaparte. Ah, oh, excuse me, I was expecting someone else. Monsieur Godoy, do you have a moment? Your timing's awkward, Dorishi. I'm expecting someone. I haven't time. Please leave me. Very well. I won't insist. Hmm. Looks like he only wants to speak to Bonaparte. I know what I have to do if I want to speak to him. Looks like Volner's opposition is in the line of fire. I don't like the sound of that. Monsieur Bonaparte. Louis, do you want something? Yes. For you to test the Duke's loyalty, since he'll only speak to you. Well... Whatever it is, I haven't the time. The conference will shortly begin, and I want to be focused. Uh, sorry. Come back and see me afterwards. I see I haven't much choice. Seeing as Godoy will only talk to Bonaparte, and Bonaparte will talk to no one, I have no other choice but to borrow his body. Nothing personal here, Napoleon. Look, I'm sorry. This conference is of utmost importance to me, and I should like to be prepared for it. Concentrate, Louis. You don't mind if I sit down, do you? I don't want to fall flat on my face when my spirit passes inside you. No, I don't think you've understood, Derichet. Link into his thoughts, Louis. Come on. I said I did not want to be disturbed. That's it. I sent something. What word in Leave Me Alone do you not understand? Come on, just keep going and get inside his mind. Now! Too bad for you. You can't say that I haven't. Thank you very much for the loan of this body, monsieur. Right. Let's not waste any more time, Louis. Godoy is waiting. My Lord Duke, my apologies for being late. What? A Frenchman who apologizes? Decidedly. My stay here has never ceased to uncover surprises. So. Have you any more information about Dorishi? What do you mean? Are you joking? We agreed you would check to see if Dorishi really has changed sides. Oh, that. Yes, indeed. It appears that he's been brought over to Sir Gregory's side. The traitor! He pushed me into turning against Sir Gregory to finally follow him himself! If you want my opinion, he must be hiding something. The villain. I was hoping he was just absent or busy snooping around all over the place in search of his mother. No, it would seem he really has joined, Sir Gregory. I have a bad feeling about this. I know what you mean. I wager he knows Mortimer is going to lose the vote. Don't you think we ought to think about ourselves and make sure we don't end up on the wrong side? What? You would be prepared to leave Mortimer as well? What do you say? I refuse to be made a laughing stock. If that is the case, I am voting for Holm as well. I think you are right, my Lord Duke. After all, Sir Gregory was my first choice. Exactly. But until then, not a word to anyone for safety's sake. I think it's preferable. Yes, you're right. And we'd better not stay together. Someone might see us. Good luck, my Lord Duke. Likewise. It's time to get going.
Your Eminence? Oh, Louis. What can I do for you? Not too nervous about the conference? Even if I add Lord Mortimer's reaction into the equation, I must admit, I don't know how we can lose. It will only take one of us to vote against his project, and the idea will be definitively dropped. <laughs> Knowing Mortimer, I wouldn't be surprised if he still had a few tricks up his sleeve. Hmm. You are thinking about something? Well, maybe he's managed to motivate some of Sir Gregory's supporters to vote for his project, for example. Bye. No, you can't be serious. Do... Do you know anyone capable of that, Louis? Yes. Yes, I do indeed know someone. Hmm. Who then? Double dealing cheat. So you're the mole. Do you really want me to tell you, Your Eminence? What do you mean? I'm not sure that I understand. Confess. I think you know better than anyone who'd be capable of pretending to be on Sir Gregory's side while secretly planning to betray him. What are you saying, Louis? I don't follow you. You are not really suggesting that- Oh, I don't need to suggest anything. The situation seems clearer by the minute. Louis, it's not what you think. I owe William everything. It's thanks to him that I took the holy orders. Off come the masks, your eminence. I beg you, try to understand. I owe him a favor. Of course you do. Louis, I haven't any choice. You don't say no to Mortimer. You know this very well. If you ignore him, you'll sooner or later pay the price. I see. He just has to ask and you give in. I beg you, don't say a word to Sir Gregory, or I'm done for. In the name of your mother, I implore you to keep it to yourself. Very well. I promise. I won't say anything. Oh, thank you, Louis. I knew I could trust you. Sarah would be proud of you. Don't push it, Your Eminence. Um, yes, of course. Well, I'll be going. I've got things to do. See you in a while. Emma? Come in, Louis. What can I do for you? Well, the conference will be upon us soon, and I found some and more- And right you are. I've wanted to wait a bit before speaking to you about it, but as you are here, I've been thinking about what we'll do when we get back. How we ought to decorate the house, prepare the children's bedrooms. Yes, I want three, and the firstborn will be a boy. We'll call him Louis, after his father. <sighs> Oh, great. This just keeps getting worse. She's drifting deeper into madness. All right. I can't let her be taken advantage of for the sake of this cursed conference. If Mortimer doesn't help her, then I'll have to come down to home. Emma, listen to anyway, me. Anyway, we'll have time to speak about it later. Regarding the conference, as we're going to vote for Mortimer's project, I thought to myself, you ought to go and notify Sir Gregory that we won't be following him. For Mortimer? But I thought you weren't on very good terms with him. True, but he came and spoke to me, and he... Well, I'm not exactly sure, but I shall vote for Mortimer. Anyway, go and tell Gregory that we've changed our minds. Madam, you shouldn't take part in that conference. What would you say about returning to England? I must vote for Mortimer. It's not reasonable. I must vote for Mortimer. I see Father hasn't left her much choice here. Very well. I'll go and tell Sir Gregory right away. I'll see you later then, madam. I hope Gregory will be able to do something. She really needs help.
Ah! Louis. Come closer. I'm warming myself up. I was unfortunate enough to step outside and now I'm freezing. So, tell me, my friend. What can I do for you? And this is the scumbag that tried to poison me. Oh! Oh! Are you insane? What's the matter with you? Shut your mouth! By the Next I time I... you want to attack someone, at least have the courage to do it to their face. Really? I thought you preferred poisoning people while they were unconscious. Ah, uh, his eminence couldn't hold his tongue, I see. I knew I should have gotten rid of the old codger. I should have known he would give me away. I'll get him. I think you're forgetting whose house you're in. Please. Lord Mortimer will never let you harm one of his guests. Not under his own roof. What is... Yes! Yes! I, at last, I found it! Alzee! Well, you gotta admit, you did give us a run for our money. Huh? What? A page has been torn out. Ah, Louis. I, uh, was getting impatient. So, tell me, have you been able to speak to everyone? Absolutely. And? Did you find a... a traitor in our midst? Before I go any further, I'd like to talk about Emma. Yes? What's wrong? She's ill, Uncle. She needs help. She cannot reasonably take part in the conference. What do you mean? Louis, I know that what happened recently was difficult for Emma, but do you realize what you're asking of me? Sir, she's completely out of her mind. Even if you asked her to vote, you wouldn't be able to guarantee she will vote for you. She's locked herself in an absurd fantasy world. I implore you, don't make her do this. Well, I can see there is great kindness in you, Louis. But I'm afraid... Make her leave. Find an institution that can help her, please, sir. You don't need her to win the vote. Whatever happens, I'm with you. And I can assure you of my vote. We can't lose. Very well. I've always attached great importance to our family. And even though it saddens me to confess it, I must agree with you that the poor girl is in a very bad way. I will tell William that I'm removing the Duchess from the conference and that he must organize her departure right away. Will that satisfy you? That'll be perfect. Thank you, Uncle. So, 
Are you going to tell me if there is a traitor amongst us? Any news of Piaggi? If I were you, I wouldn't count on Cardinal Piaggi. The scoundrel! I've given him everything, and this is how he thanks me. I wouldn't be surprised if he and my father have been close allies for a long time. He'll get what's coming to him. What's your opinion of Duke Manuel? He is a loyal and faithful friend of your cause. I never once doubted him. And Von Volner? What's your feeling about him? He's on your side. However, it seems that Mortimer feels certain he can get him to change his mind. You mean blackmail him? That's impossible. I don't know, but I thought it wise to warn you. Yes. I see. Thank you, Louis, for all this information. I only hope what you say is right. The consequences could be horrific. That is what we are likely to see. William has moved his pieces. If that's how it is, it's my turn now. What are you going to do? Show him that I am not going to be outdone. Prepare yourself. It won't be long before the conference begins. There's just enough time to briefly go over it once more with my guests. Let us meet in the conference room when the time comes. So, do we agree? Agreed. Let's return to our places now. You're right. Hmm. What were they talking about? Louis, a moment of your time, please. Yes, monsieur. What can I do for you? I would like you to hear me out without interrupting. It's in your interest. You are in a perilous situation, and I want to avoid you becoming a laughingstock. That's very kind of you. In actual fact, all of Sir Gregory's team is working for Mortimer. If you vote for Holm, Mortimer will never forgive you. And I can assure you that he is taken down far tougher than you. Are you threatening me? Not me, Louis. But you are the only one who hasn't turned against Sir Gregory. Join us. Vote with us if you do not want to feel the wrath of Mortimer alone. Is that all? That's all, yes. I just wanted to warn you. Now you are free to vote where your conscience leads you. Good luck. So, he's the one who's been persuading them all to turn back. I just gotta hope that Holmes managed to pull off his conjuring trick. Otherwise, Bonaparte's right. I'll be the only one voting against Mortimer, and therefore, the only one to face the consequences. My friends, here we are at last, gathered together to close this conference. I would first of all like to thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us, when I say that we are honored by your presence here. You, you are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions. And I especially want to thank you, William, for for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. I'm not sure all the guests would agree to that. In any case, Holm doesn't seem to be himself. Duchess Hillsborough will also not be voting. The poor woman has suffered a lot of upheaval lately. As she was feeling quite poorly, she apologizes, but she preferred to return to the continent. The Duchess? I hope it's nothing serious. Don't worry, Mr. President. I had someone escort her. The Duchess simply needs rest, and now she is in good hands. I must say, Sir Gregory, you are beset by bad luck. Indeed. One would think that I am hounded by ill fortune. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Duke Manuel? Against. Your Eminence? Four. But I... Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon? Four. Mr. Von Volner? Four. What? Gregory, but... please refrain from interrupting the voting. You know the rules, brother. President Washington? Four. Finally, Monsieur de Richet. What is your vote? My turn. I vote... Against. The votes are now cast. 
So you were not won over by my project. Hmm. That hurts. I... I warned you! You did... You didn't want to... Listen to me! Never mind. It will still come to pass. Traitor! What have you done? You are... You are obliged to respect your... Your word. That is the... The... The rule! The time of conferences is over, dear brother. Let us abandon all this charade. You don't... Have... The... Right! What have you done to me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future... Oh, that is, if you have one. Don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. Oh. You... You are mad, William! Father will... Father will punish you for, for this! He will probably try, unless I get to him first. But I... cannot die! No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason, as well as all your special abilities. What... what did I drink? Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of Father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone, enclosed in that rather withered body. Help! Help me! After several Help! centuries of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me, what does that feel like? Never happened to me. Can't be good. You cannot leave your body. You cannot project yourself elsewhere. You cannot even contact father. Go ahead. Try. But you are my brother. So I ask you to remember that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no pleasure out of it. Well, very little. You swine! A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses, now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. Oh. <laughs> Matt, I am stronger than, than you!